नमो तस्तो अर्हतो संबुद्ध नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत संबुद्ध नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत संबुद्ध Okay, I got uh, one past paper from Bante, uh, and also I'm expecting some. What do we call? Uh, yeah, just uh, this topic. Mm, what is it called? The about language, eh? Our topic is language, right? Take Mamoru is a is a very very important topic, Rahul, all of you, because you know the language uh, is the primary thing in uh, all the religions, because all the religions today survive with the help of language. so what is the attitude about language so we have seen what is it called example early right early religious thought remember i told you Hindu, Charvak, etc. Right? Like, what do we say? Pre-Buddhist attitude. you need to know little bit pre buddhist attitude what is the pre buddhist attitude towards language so is good to know hinduism jainism even what is it called other six religious leaders if you can have it eh? please uh, also you are listening now mamoru read more about six religious teachers you may get the question and they are teaching because we we didn't touch directly but eternalism nihilism eternalism sasata uchchedavad also we had a discussion in this teaching right so day two are so we are so what is it called uh, proceeding <clears throat> we are proceeding it what do we call uh, the the what was the buddhist attitude right remember buddhism right we have seen ethical right and there is also another one what is it called epis the more epistemo logical another thing language and also i mentioned to you goal all those things are Uh, what is it called important when we talk about language ethical last week we have seen what did we see historical that is origin so we have seen agnya sutta remember i am summarizing what we have discussed right 
what is it called evolution and dissolution or long term dissolution and evolution as a result that's what remember evolution dissolution and remember these words evolution and dissolution of the world so we have seen what is it called origin of adinna dana origin of musa vada musa vada line origin of musa vada clear can you remember this much and we seen arana विभंग सुत्त इन मध्यम निकाय। I am I am I am reminding you these are the contents in my notes. I think I didn't send it. I get Rajani to send it to you email soon. The note last week. It's very important. and remember in that right arana vibanga sutta right and how we 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 have seen it right and then can you remember these four words what are the four words samanya then coming to nirutti ohara and panyati four fold approach of the buddha samanya nirutti ohara panya if you can remember this it will be very good it will be really good remember this is talking about what is it called general agreement and general way of speech and general use and general convention general convention <clears throat> remember If you can go through this today we shall see all right
language. <coughs> Language according to Buddhism is not a creation. Of God. Remember this statement. Nor does it refer to any what is in called essences. Any essences. Dependently originated. Look at this. I have given you a Paragraph for you to remember. This is it's a sometimes what is it called? Uh, when we say the dependently originated, you can put it like a teacher, some one dhamma. It's a particular samuppana dham. Dependently originated. Again, let me tell you, remember I last week in my lesson, Vachi Vinyati in Abhi Dhamma Rupa Samuttana. If you remember this, very good. Rupa Samuttana, when the Buddha explained about classification of body, right? Body and its activity. So you see this, this has been mentioned. That's why it is dependently originated. Dependently originated. Clear? And also, important thing. Ever changing reality. It has changing nature because if you say it's divine, if you say it is depending on certain essences, so it is fixed, it's permanent. But they are not. Even you can see me, right? Mm, Rahul, right? Morning, you say, Hi, how are you? So nice, eh? Konnichiwa. But evening, say, Where did you go? Why so late? Oh, see? Changes. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. You see? How is morning? So nice. In the evening, so rude. Have you seen? If you can add here, Anicheta in language, the tone, the mood, 
right? The attitude and mental composition. We have to see that. All of us have these kind of experience. So the Buddha said, that's right. It's not divine origin. This is where Rahul, these religious problem coming in today. Why can't we be together? Because we are so stick to our own words rather than accepting reality of the world. Sometimes in our religion, we are not talking about reality in our languages. We talk about stories, glorifying, miracles, so on and so forth. But the Buddha said, what? What have to talk? Talk about jati, birth. You talk about jara, old age. You talk about vyadhi, sickness. You talk about marana, death. You talk about soka, sorrow. You talk about parideva, lamentation. You talk about dukkha, pain. You talk about domanas, uh, pain in the mind. Those are the things, really. But we are not talking about it. If you look at our books, it's full of names, fames, nature, beauty, so on and so forth. So this is what the Buddha said, language. Right? Language. So that's why uh, uh, it's, it's in a way that <laughs> another important thing, you know, sorry, eh? you don't get upset about it. No? The Buddha, you know, language, it cannot be, right? Right, it, it cannot be. Uh, in a, any beyond human understanding. Beyond human understanding. Have you seen it? Can you look at here? Very interesting statement. Anjani can on the light, Anjani. Outside, like, out, open, open. Language cannot be beyond human understanding. So the Buddha said, if you do not understand, like, you know, we have some reservation for some words even in Buddhism because nobody knows how to translate. If you do not know how to translate, you don't understand the meaning. So the Buddha said, language cannot be beyond, that's right. That's a metaphysical. It should be within the range of human understanding. That's why what I speak to you, you understand now, right? You understand, right? If I say what? Oh, Yasumi Nasai, then all of you shut the screen, right? Now Mamoru already sleeping, right? Can't see Mamoru. <laughs> So, oh, Yasumi Nasai, no more talking. See, all of you laugh, right? See, you understand it. You understand it. So the Buddha said, what language cannot be? What is it called? Uh, and also, look at here. Uh, Right? Hmm. 
find something outside light triangle. Neither it is materialist. Please understand. The Buddhism doesn't advocate materialism to language. Have you got it? Now you see materialism and what is it called the other one? Creation, creationism. Creationism. The Buddha did not accept creationist. Language is created by God. Neither it is materialism. Because when we say materialism, what does it mean? It doesn't have involvement of mind. That's why like Ajita Kesa Kambali, the uh, what did they say? Remember, you, you have to support here, like Ajita. They didn't believe in this kind of thing. They didn't believe in karma. They didn't believe in dharma. They didn't believe in moksha. They didn't believe in nirvana. They didn't believe in Punya Papa. Right? That's why what? Purna Kasapa. Remember? Can you remember Purna Kasapa? What Purna Kasapa say? You take a sharp weapon, you take a knife, right? Then you kill Hiroko, right? So cut the throat of Hiroko. So what is happening? Patavi apo tejo vayo. Going through patavi apo tejo vayo. That's it. Knife, patavi apo tejo vayo. The neck, patavi apo tejo vayo. That's it. These two. That's materialism. The Buddha said it is Panatipata. No doubt, the act is done with hand. You hold the knife tightly and you slit the throat. Hiroko, don't upset eh? you. Eh? So, what happened? It is that's called materialism. Anyway, I'm just giving you some, right? Uh, Okay. Very good statement, remember. Early Buddhist view on language is between these two Sasata and Chid Vada is middle path. On the right. Early Buddhist view on language is between these two, Sasatu Chedavada, two extremes. The Buddha said it's middle part. Ah, yeah. Mamoru, are you, where did you go? I'm sorry, Bante. <laughs> I come back. Okay. Can you see this? Please take note, Mamoru. It's important. This topic sure may come. I expect this topic. 
easier for you because and a very interesting i was reading you know these days i'm not very well i've taken more rest on the bed so i was reading this very interesting very very interesting topic because it's even good for us also for us to manage our what is it called words <clears throat> here this one until here the last week what we do today this is the one okay before i forget mamoru friday rahul uh, can we take the class a bit later one hour later that means japan time nine o'clock is that okay Okay for us. Ah, okay, okay. Keiko, Hiroko, can I? Nine o'clock, Friday. Yes, that is your time, nine. My time, eight. Friday. Your Friday is my day. Yeah, but this week, yeah. Friday, I'm, I'm not in. Busy, not busy. I am busy this Friday. Then, then shall we hold it on Thursday? Last day we have Devanand Tero's class. Nine to ten. That is nine to ten, right? But I can ask Bhante to give me seven to eight. Miss eight to Okay. Are you free? Thursday. Yes. Um, so next I... Friday, next Friday you are not free, right? I do. Uh... I just want to do it. You know, I I got a paper. Later, I will I will email you the questions. A bit, a bit. Uh, you know, they have a good questions for you, like dependent origination, particular father Keiko, right? Try to try to do. Very easy. This paper very easy, but it wouldn't come like. Diploma level, okay. What is noble eightfold path? They, they don't ask like that, but they ask in noble eightfold path with reference to something. You should know noble eightfold path, like four noble truth. At least two questions. Read it carefully. But it's not just to explain what is noble truth of suffering. So, but they refer to something related to the world. So you have to be very careful. Don't be in a hurry. Read the question first. Like I saw one question. Dependent origination teach us birth. So how? So, of course, it's a 12 thing, ja, avijja, sankara, but there is a birth, jati, jara, vyadi, maran. Until that, you have to mention, but you have to cover it. Same way. Even this is, you have. You remember Agganya Sutta, very good. A bit of Hindu view, right? Even the materialist, because materialist like they didn't believe in punya papa. So that means to them, words are material. Words are material. But to the word, to the Buddha, so the Buddha didn't go into the this or that. Because Hinduism, Early religions say that it is God origin, it is divine origin. Even remember, I'll, I'll give you one one view here. Eh? Yeah. Early early religious thought, Hindu, right? Pre Buddhist attitude, right? If you can just remember, because this one you know, remember the caste origin.
ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय वैश्य सूत्र सो दे डिसाइड हाउ इट इज मनुस्मृति इज अ हिंदू टेक्स्ट ओ ऋग्वेद पुरुष सूक्त डिसाइड so that means it is fixed you are brahmin you are kshatriya you are vaishya i am sudra who said rahul said right so i have to accept the buddha said no such thing it's a language they use language in which manushmruti and rigveda the god say you are brahmin the god say you are a servant you are a slave it's a god say who knows the good words so they they presented in sanskrit they wrote it in sanskrit what is sanskrit it is language so which language the priest talk to the audience so oh, this say that this is what the god say rigveda in samhitas the buddha said no then materialist came in right materialism came in okay so remember now remember madhyama pati pada in middle path middle path what can you take this note samavata right speech the buddha said it is middle path right so the what did the buddha say remember this this is very easy sa pada permani visuna wa cha this is samma vacha please remember these four lines very important usavada pisuna vacha parusa vacha sampapala the buddha said abstain avoid keep away all those words you know is actually you have in your head in your vocabulary in your diploma level but the most important thing you have to put this knowledge together to support to substantiate 
right? The, the answer, the answer. Clear? Abstain from lying. Abstain from talking bad about others. Visunavacha. Parusavacha. Abstain from harsh, hurting, injuring words. Sampapalapa. Abstain from gossip. See? Then talk what? Talk truth. Words of unity. Gentle. Don't tell lies, no lying, then talk truth. Don't talk bad about people, talk good about people to unite, not to divide. Slandering means divide, separate, split. It's not concord, it's discord. Talk nice words, gentle words. Friendly words, soft, mudu, and don't talk gossip. Don't waste time talking gossip, talk meaningful words. Clear?
you can mention about it. Uh, the uh, uh, yeah. Brahmachala Sutta. Very interesting. You must read it one day. This is early Buddhism. Musavada Pativirato Samano Gotamo Satchavadi Satcha Sandi Satcha Nitito. The Buddha abstained from telling lies and he speaks truth only. Buddha abstained from telling what is it called? Discording word. Always the Buddha talk concord, unity, unity, harmony, bringing together. The Buddha didn't speak any harsh word in his life. It's always good words, gentle words, soft words, words of loving kindness. You know, in if you can refer to Karaniya Mitta Sutta. You know Karaniya Mitta Sutta, right? Mamoru, you know? <laughs> this is ethical. You know, you may see Vyarosana Patigha Sanya. Bhyarosana, Bhyarosana Patikasanya. This is actually Bhya Pada the Bhya. Don't say any hateful word. Rosana means scolding. Do not scold anyone with harsh words. Patikasanya, thought of. Patigha mean to harm, to harm, to disturb. Vyaro sana, patigha sanya. Vyaro sana, patigha sanya. Remember in Karaniya Metta Sutta, this is soon what do you call in in Kuddhakanikaya Sutta Pitika Kuddhakanisanikaya, the last Karaniya Metta Sutta is a smaller discourse how to practice loving kindness. So one of them, Rarosana. Don't utter any harsh word. Don't utter any harsh word. That's why what is it, what is it called when it come to uh, how to say the, the the Buddha, right? The Buddha, uh, how to say the you know. <laughs> Again, if I if I refer to the caste system, right? The caste origin, Brahman, and so when it comes to Shudras, right? Here you see Sutras, the Shudra. So sometimes what is it called? They treated them. They treated them in very, very low level, or what we call uh, ill-treated them. Do you know, uh, uh, what is it called? The Shudra. Shudra is not given religious freedom to see or oh. 
learn scriptures. Because his divine origin only priestly class can master. So remember, this is what the language, the Shudras. The sudras are not permitted to, you know, if the sudra, if sudra says any word from Veda, their tongue beans slit, cut the tongue. If they study Veda, destroy the life. Because that language, that teaching is only for priestly class. Only for priests. So the Buddhism is very different. Right? Here, look at, I just put it there later. I will send it to you. Right? When I say, when I look at the word Brihārosana, right? <laughs> Rahul, you can refer to what happened the you know the the Vasala Sutta. Do you know Vasala Sutta? Have you heard about Vasala Sutta? Yes. What does the word mean in Vasala? Vasal na jacha hoti vaslo like that. You you say your own Buddhism who say like that? What is it? Vasalo hoti. Vasala mean what? Vasala mean? Mm, I don't know. Sorry. Outcast. A Brahmin, one day, you know, Mamoru, when a Brahmin early morning saw the Buddha, he told the Buddha, Tatreva Mundaka Tatreva Samanaka Tatreva Vasalaka stop slave. So this is what they use the word. Because that group, they has a privilege. They talk, they, they claim the privilege that we can utter any words to anyone. Buddha say no. Biaro sana patika sanya. You cannot say any bad word, any harsh word against anyone. Biaro sana patika sanya. Nanya manya sa dukkha vichyaya. Nanya manya sa dukkha vichyaya. Right? Quite interesting. So you just see here, there, right? Yeah, you can touch a little bit. Silence in Buddhism. Buddhism is a religion of silence. Silence doesn't mean don't talk, but talk what is necessary. Right? Talk what is necessary. If you can remember this statement, very nice.
speak dharma or else observe noble silence talk good things <laughs> Righteous conversation. Observe noble silence. Observe silence, which is noble. Clear? Clear these points, right? Because I put like little amount of silence of the Buddha, you know. Buddha was very popular among other religious leaders. Guess what? Not noisy. Simple word. Not noisy. <laughs> Buddha doesn't like noise. It's a good thing even today. Do you know our temples, right? They like to make noise. Now, Rahul, in India, what happened? Early morning, you hear, you are chanting, ranting, Bhagavad Gita, Yo, whole world can hear, right? People can't sleep. Noisy. And even when we see the silence, but of course the Buddha said, Talk. What? Talk meaningful. Talk meaning. Talk useful, talk goal. It is there. So this is what then, right?
Sakai Niruti. The Buddha permitted you to speak Buddhism in your own language. In your own language. Because language, remember, I'll go back to the four, right? Remember, Sakai Niruti, your own dialect, right? Whenever you go to those, those, those places, you have to speak in their own language. But you cannot deviate when you translate the word. It's, it's very, very important. You cannot deviate from original teaching or the sayings. I'll go back to the four words I gave you. Right? Ah, uh, see? Samanya, general agreement. This is how the Buddha perceived the language. Nirutti, the way of speech. Right? Use, convention, certain agreement. I'll take one good example here. Right? In Hindi, what is the word for man? Manushya nar. Nar, nar or manushya? Manushya nar. Manushya means uh, human, human being. being. Okay, manushya in Hindi. In Pali, nar. Mm. Manushya. Right? In my sing language, single language, Mamoru, how is in Japanese? Man. Man. Ningen. How do how to write? Ningen. N Y. N. G. N I N G. No, N I G E, uh, N I N G, N I N, -N G N E E E E A B C D E Ning E. No, just one E. No, but normally when we say E, you use two E. Mm, not not long sound, short sound E. Oh, ning, ning e. Ning gen g e n. Ning e. Ning gen g e n. Or oh, g e n. Ning not, gen. Not, Correct. Not a double g. Only one g. That's right. No ning. Ning. Or oh, ning. Gen. Okay. Yeah. Correct? Yes. Okay. In Chinese, in Chinese it is called run. Human. In English, man. Kimarat manus. Manusha, Nara, Manusa, Minisu, Ningeng, Ran, Man. You see, different Nirukti, different dialects. This is for what? What's the word meaning? Human being. So that's how the Buddha said, I can't impose my own language, go to Japan. Japan cannot impose Japanese to the whole world. Englishmen cannot ask, oh, whole world must learn English. 
India cannot say that you must learn Hindi, otherwise cannot come here. So this is different. Because when you come to Buddhism, but the most important thing when you convey the message, right, it should not deviate from the original teaching. Should not deviate from original teaching. Clear? Okay. So this is about this topic. Eh? Just try to try to get ready for language. Early before Buddha, the language and language in the teaching of the Buddha. Okay. So next, okay, we'll see Thursday. Oh, sorry, sorry. Thursday is not good. Friday night is okay. Sorry. Seven. No, Friday night. Actually, Friday night, nine o'clock. Okay. Nine o'clock. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Because mm -hmm. I got an invitation from uh, American Embassy. I'm going to meet the ambassador. So we will start nine o'clock. Okay. Eh? Just because what I want to discuss another important topic. Um, that's actually. I'll give you the title. Wait, eh? Just, 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 just. No, no, it's in the WhatsApp. Our next topic, eh? most likely on Friday, I'll put it into this paper. In my Germany, Kai. Chatus Koti in Buddhism and Malung Keputta Sut. Basically, call what? Un Unswerable Christians. Abhyakata. Abhyakata. Unanswer. Why? Why did Buddha avoid? What are the unanswerable question? What is the answer in Chulamalonke Putta Sutta? Clear? 
So that's going to be our Friday lesson, most likely. Eh? But Ban oh, Bante is taking Thursday. Oh, yeah. what time? Nine. Yes. Japanese time, nine to 10. Why so late? He's in Japan, so late, why? Japan can start early. Basically, he has another uh, classes, that's why. Mm. Okay, so you keep this, eh? this, this lesson, the language is very important, even from general point of view, you can learn a lot. How should be this, okay? Yankin chivitantang idhava hurangva Sagisuayam ratanam panitam Nano samang atitata gatina Idampi buddhi ratanam panitam Itina sachina suvat to all of you for stay healthy, wealthy, peaceful, happy, successful for you in Japan, Singapore, my living place, Sri Lanka, India, the world at large. May all the living beings share the merits of this Dhamma talk, Dhamma learning, hearing. May you be well and thank you. Thank you very thank you much. Thank you very much, Bante. See you on Friday, most likely. Eh? Now, how? Control, yes, yeah. save. Yeah. Mm. yeah. This one, right? Yes. Saved already? Yes. I saved the photo also. Uh, only three photo. I uh, gone. <laughs> no, only document. This. Bhante, but uh, what what will be the question on the language? Yeah, they same same. Christian also. I mentioned once in the last week. Christianity and Hinduism, they all believed in it's a sacred language. It's a God oriented. But oh. normally in this paper we don't touch Christians' view because it is not pre Buddhist. Mm. Because Christians were later, but. To them, it's the same. That's why you see, said they use the word, uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, the sacred language, the holy, it's a divine origin. That's why to them, you know, uh, you know, like uh, if if they, they say that if you make a mistake of like Quran, they don't like everybody to do chanting, mm. because they don't want to make any mistakes in pronunciation. But they think they're pronouncing wrongly mean is a, a what is it called a, a disobeying to the god something like that so because that's what they believe even right that's that's what actually you know even it it they went into the wars when people try to modify it write different testimony and all those kind of things okay Oh, I'll try to, I to send ask Ranjini to send it to you. Eh? Yes. Close. Thank you. Close. Yeah.